what's up guys it's your girl donna reality back with another video doing shrimp fried rice check this video out i am doing it step by step enjoy <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what my dish look like when I'm finished. So it's egg, shrimp, some overnight rice, and chickpeas. I'm so I'm gonna go into it step by step. So I scramble the eggs. Rice. This is so eight is eggs. Egg. So I scramble and them and I cook two pound of shrimp. But I just do it, the shrimp for I'm like five minutes. I just seasoned it with some Maggi all purpose. That's it. I didn't put and a little garlic. And I just threw them in the pot with just a little tubes of oil. It have a little gravy, but I'm not going to use the gravy. So I just threw them in the pot and cook it for five minutes. And that's it. So now the pot is hot to do the fried rice. I'm throwing some oil in the pot. Just a little. So first, I let the pot hot and I cut up about three stem of scallion. So just a three stalks of scallion. So then I'm going to, once the pot is hot, I'm just going to saute the scallion. Okay, so this pot is getting hot. Okay, so here you go. Um, going to saute I'm sauteing the scallion within the oil get it some color so it could give the rice that flavor Hello. let it spend a few minutes and saute and I get it a little brown that's gonna bring up such a lovely flavor in the rice Okay, so now I'm going to just add the rice. So I keep turning the rice so all the rice get a little of the scallion, the seasoning from the scallion and just keep turning it. The, the, the fire is on high because I want the rice to like, you know, get a little color. So I put it on high. This is two pounds of rice. So uh, the rice is from yesterday. So I cooked it and I put it in the fridge because the cooler the rice is, is the better for it to give you that fried rice um, taste. Because once you cook the rice from overnight, it is the rice have to be cold to give you that kind of fried rice taste. If you just cook the rice and you want to do the fried rice, then it don't taste like a fried rice. So it's good to put it in the refrigerator from overnight and let it be well cold when you're going to fry it. But it's delicious, guys. So now I'm going to add some soy sauce. Some soy sauce to kind of give it a little darker color. I mean, any soy sauce could use. So, I'm just adding a little to give it the color. So, you kind of bring that little brown looking color on the rice. And then I just keep like turning the rice to make sure the mixture get right through and through all the rice. So it's two pound of rice and two pound of shrimp. 
and eight eggs. I scrambled eight eggs. So I'm just keep turning the rice. Okay, so it need a little bit more soy sauce so to give it a little brown color. So this is pretty easy to do and it just it tastes so different you know from your everyday meal that you normally eat so it's a little different because it's a whole meal you put the eggs which is the protein you put the shrimp and the rice it's it's delicious guys I'm getting a call hello Okay, guys. So up next, I am going to add a little bit more scallion just to give it that kind of green looking color in the rice and I'm not gonna let it fry out totally. So it's not gonna fry out. It's just gonna give the, the rice that kind of green looking, nice looking flavor. Now I'm going to add the shrimp without the gravy because I don't want the rice to be wetty so I am going to add just the shrimp and as I said before I only use the Maggi all-purpose to cook the shrimp with a little garlic that's it I didn't put any other seasoning on it so now I'm just turning the rice to make sure the shrimp get all in this is chickpeas I am going to add a whole thing of chickpeas in my fried rice because I love chickpeas and it also bring up a taste the next thing I normally put in my fried rice is celery at this time I don't have any but the celery just bring this crunchy taste to the fried rice but right now I'm doing it I don't have any celery home and I didn't plan to cook this fried rice right now but I am doing it anyways because I feel for something different so I put all the chickpeas in the rice so I'm just gonna let it stay there for another couple of minutes keep turning it so the chickpeas could get to soak while it's frying the pot is still on on high keep it on high so it could everything could just get done real quick there you go up close look that celery would just bring this nice look to it but as I said before I don't have any home so I'm just gonna do without it right now so now I'm going to add the eggs and I'm just gonna crush it out a little to make sure it gets small right through and through the rice so you will see the end of it scrambling the egg kind of just jumbling up let it jumble up and make it in one but I have to like just cut them up chew and chew the rice with the spoon to make sure that it gets small enough and go right through the rice so basically that's really it guys because I'm just crushing up the eggs through the rice right now to make sure that it gets small enough and it's pretty easy something different as I said something different from your regular everyday meal every once in a while you know you do 
something different. But this is so good. It tastes really, really nice. And that scallion just bring up this taste in the rice. The saute scallion is what kind of bring the flavor to the rice. As you can see, I didn't add anything else, any butter, any 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 other seasoning. It's just the saute scallion in a little oil brings up the flavor in the pot. All right. So there you have it, guys. That's my meal. I had a piece of carrot this. with it as a vegetable and a piece of green bell pepper. And this was so good. So, so good. And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoy this shrimp fried rice. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it.